met die acting, jy het groter rol al gespeel. En vir my, the most noteworthy, en weet jy, dit lang terug geskiet, maar dit het laatste jaar uitgekom. Mm. Pas Kanari. Mm. En, dude, hoe jy, dit is die ding wat meestens, Suid-Afrikaanse man, dit gaan jou, jou gaan vraag, hoe, hoe was jy met die soenerij, met die dude, en alle en as goed soos dit? Mm. Want ek sien, baie van julle acteurs, soos Glenn, Glenn, as jy vir Glenn nou sê, jy moet kaal dier die straat hardloop, hy is kiet af, no problem. Mm. Julle raak, ba, julle is baie makkelijk wanderbel. Mm. Maar ek het soet, ek het baie self-preservation, het sal nogal een beetje vat van my om my auto soet. Ja. Um, ach, I guess also like, when you study acting, that stuff is just, it's work, it's part of the work. Mm. It's really just, yeah, like it's not, any any actor who's done like a, a more intimate scene or a sex scene will tell yeah. you it's the most unsexy thing. Mm. It's very technical, mm. there's a dude like here with a boom, yeah. it's not a, it's not a, a no, it's, it's not a, legit like yeah. a sexy thing, you know, mm, it's actually mm. very cold and clinical and mm. so on. Um, and look, I was very thankful for Hannes Otto, who played my, my lover in the movie, van, I was very lucky, I had him actually known for the time, he um, mm. is actually a friend of Glenn, mm. um, studied with Glenn and stuff, and um, yeah, he just made me feel very comfortable, I think I made him feel comfortable, so it was just like, this is the the job we're doing, you know, so, um, yeah, I guess because if you have to kiss someone, you're also worried about the other person, like if they, are they feeling, is it okay with, for them or whatever, so if they're like, dude, I'm cool, and you're like, no, I'm cool, then you can just like get into it and do it, you know, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, weird at all you know and like like i said i just connected so well with hannes um i didn't have to stress about him feeling weird or uncomfortable about it so then i didn't feel weird and uncomfortable about it did you the reviews so there was it, it got great reviews mm. it won awards yeah did you get did you did you expect that when you read the script or uh, did it come to you as a surprise and who the aunties are, was by aunties was just near six. Yeah, I'm going to say, um, I expected it to be good because, um, I had been a fan of the director Christian Olvalken for a long time before the movie, and he's a genius. Like, I don't know how he is not in Hollywood by mm. now. Like. Mm-hmm. He's incredible, and everything he touches turns to gold. He's just one of those people. Um, so I did expect the movie to be good. I, I must say, I expected a way bigger backlash. There wasn't really. Yeah, oh, like I heard stories of people saying we were in the movie and we loved it, but the people behind us walked out. But there wasn't like some boycott, skull beside mm-hmm. note. Facebook group or yeah. whatever, you know, and I was actually no whole chaffed mate, and that is what the movie wanted to accomplish was to change perceptions of yeah of being gay, of homosexuality. Um dot five means of make say like the like the the whole concept of homosexuality always made me feel very uncomfortable and freaked me out and after the movie I just have like a bit more of a better yeah. Understanding. understanding of it and I guess the understanding part of the understanding was also that it's it's not something the person chooses it's not yeah. like one day you go okay now today I can choose whether I want to be straight or gay for the rest of my life I'm yeah. gonna choose gay yeah um, and also the conflict that the inner conflict that so many um, gay people go through because especially in the movie in 1985 it was firstly legal to be gay illegal yeah and you know the extremely characters extremely taboo <laughs> yeah you 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 know you're gonna you're setting yourself up for a life of discrimination hatred absolutely and and then there was also the aspect of religion mm. so, it is in Canaries. yeah it's the army dude yeah and and people 
it obviously had to it happened a lot that yeah. it gebeur and um you know the trauma it's not just a someone like okay i'm gay yeah you've worst of any problem yeah like the trauma that goes with it you know it's not something that anyone would would want or wish for no no so uh, um you know and people said to me like one guy said like after the movie because when he when he came out as gay to his parents him and his dad stopped speaking um which happens obviously That's every common, day yeah. very common and the movie made him and his dad speak again for the first time in 10 years or oh, so the, the dad watched the movie the dad watched the movie and i think the dad just had like was like oh okay i yeah. understand this better yeah um so i mean to this day it's probably the thing i'm the most proud of like that i've ever done or yeah. that i've ever been a part of it was like really like a special project for me and also because we were telling a real story yeah. Shaul Johan Wingenfelder whose story it is he did the music for the movie okay and he was like he wrote the script he was there on set with us like nah that's you right know, so that authenticity yeah and the, I didn't know that I didn't know the guy that wrote the score was actually it's his story yeah it's did his, he write a book about it no no so you mean He and Christian were on the way to Kokon Ko the festival uh-huh. one year he did the music for one of Christian's plays you know for our drive they didn't really know each other started telling about the canaries and stuff and Christian like called him one day hey I spoke to Emnet yeah we're making a movie okay on can you ready can you read for him skit and he was like what he's like yeah we're taking your story we're going to write that we can make a movie it's an incredible story and um Yeah so I like really also felt a bit of pressure because now it's not just a story that you're telling it's someone's story and I wanted yeah. to do it justice because Absolutely. it was Absolutely. And you also Stan also. It was a big deal yeah for for Shaul Yohan that he like sharing yeah. the most traumatic time of his life yeah with you know all these people. Um so yeah but I very proud of that. Ja, yeah. I would be too. Hoe hoeveel jaren het gevat voor het since you wrapped the movie till it came on cinema. Oh, so we shot end of 2016 and it came out 2018. 2018, so two about years. two years, yeah. It was going to come out the year after, but there was like a lot of South African movies releasing and they wanted to it to like shine the most it could, you know. I thought it was fantastic. I went to see it and I I loved it. Mm. So it's it's also like it, it it goes back to it gaan terug naar like like goeie Afrikaan because as so baie goeie Afrikaan goeie Afrikaans stories. Ja. En ek dink baie keer ons mis baie van dit. Mm. So is like toe ek in die in die 90er in die 90s. Toe is ek so sy uh Lighty was as was 'n story so Sonkring en Konings en dit dit mm. mini series uh, boeke goed en jy ek voel vir my net like ek het as either ek is lei of ek kry net nie meer soveel quality uit die tyd. Miskien mm. kyk ek net die genoeg Afrikaans goed meer nie. Mm. Cuz it's all washed in hierdie Showmax Netflix ecosystem. Mm. And I really like good Africa, like a good African story. And I guess up to that point by then by 2016 or 2017 18 I then established myself as Really, it's like when a review appears, it's always like, funny guy, Alfred Adrian. Yeah. Funny guy, it's called yeah. I was funny guy, it's called Poseidon, yeah. you know? So, yeah. Um, the acting work I've done was Zutel, a comedy series. Yeah. I did stand-up. I presented a show, The Click, which was in... Uh, Via Dung. Yeah, yeah. Which, which I did. Obviously, it was I uh, presented in a funny way, so yeah. I'd, I'd never done anything that wasn't in the in the realm of comedy. Mm-mm-mm. So it was great for me to be able to to do to something. And also, on the face, yeah, he's actually an actor. You can yeah, he's like versatile. Um, yeah, I wanted to also show like a, a another side of me, which was which the which also just shows the the genius of Christian because he saw me do stand up ah. at Kalkan Car one year. And you know my choir joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, when he called me for the audition, he said, "I saw your choir joke," and it kind of sp- sparked sparked something. the idea to have you audition for this movie that's 
Very not, serious. Not comedy at all. Very serious. And I was like, wow, the, that he saw the potential from me doing stand-up. You know, yeah. not a, not a lot of people would have seen a comedian like yeah. someone do comedy and then think to let him. Yeah. Or, yeah. It's also like an understanding of the culture.